Hello everyone, how are you? It's June here and um, today I'm doing uh, a tag video and the name of this tag is Six Products I Cannot Live Without. Um, so this tag was done last by Daisy from um, her channel is Daisy Nation and I will leave a link below to her channel. She is um, really terrific. She's a great friend of mine and um, I really love her videos. They are terrific. So she did this tag and I'm going to do it now as well. Now there actually might be a bit of crossover between um, the products she mentioned and the ones that I'm going to mention. Um, they're not all the same but there's at least one that is this, that, that would be the same as, as, um, as her, her mentions. I think there are six here. There is another one <laughs> that I would like to mention so I might bend the rules slightly and mention seven things. The first thing <clears throat> I suppose I would not be without is my eyelash curler. Um, this is my Shuemura eyelash curler. Um, I don't know, is this better than any other eyelash curler? I'm not really sure. Um, I just bought this one, you know, uh, because, um, I don't know, I, I can't even remember when I bought this. I bought it a very long time ago anyway, and I really like it and I would not be without an, ash, an eyelash curler. Um, I used to be very lazy about curling my lashes, now I do it every day and I just am a complete convert to the curling of the eyelashes. I think it's great. Um, you know, if you didn't have mascara, you could just curl your lashes and you've done something with them and it will open your eyes a little bit more and it works great. So that's my number one, cannot live without that. Second thing I cannot live without is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. Um, I absolutely love this and I've repurchased this several times. This is in light medium, which is a good, this is my shade. I use this uh, as a setting powder. I use it to, you know, get rid of oiliness in my T-zone. I use it to... Uh, just use as, as a foundation sometimes. If I just want light coverage, I can put this on over a moisturizer or a tinted moisturizer. And I love it because it has a slightly kind of sheeny finish. It's not completely matte. I do not like a really matte finish on my skin. I think it's aging on me. And so this is just perfect. And I would never be without this product. And it's quite a dent in this one now. And I think pan will probably start showing through pretty soon on this one. I use this every single day, almost every day of my life without fail. So I love this. Another one that I will never be without as long as I live <laughs> is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. This product is amazing. This is a terrific tinted moisturiser and if I just had this I could survive without any other foundation. Now obviously I do use other foundations because I have them. Um, but I could certainly see myself, you know, if I had no choice, not buying any other tin any other face product other than this one and just using this forever and ever. I love the coverage, I love the shade, I love the finish, it is moisturising without making you oily, it's glowy, it looks really brightening, it's got good coverage, it's really terrific and it contains SPF 30. So. For me, this just does so many different things, and um, this is my first tube of this, and uh, it's going to be empty very soon. It's beginning to feel quite light, and I will definitely be repurchasing this. Repurchasing this, I love it. Now, gosh, there's lots of NARS products in this. Hooray for NARS! Blush. Um, this one is again another NARS product, and this is NARS Douceur Blush. Um, again, if I had to throw away all my blushes and just keep one, this is the one I would keep. Um, because it goes with everything. Every look you would wear, you can actually just wear this blush and it suits everything. It's really natural. You can use it for contouring. Um, you can, you know, place it in different places on your face. It's matte, but it's got a few little shimmers in it. So it's not completely flat on your face. It's um, it's got a beautiful texture. It's just um, I'm going to hit pan on this fairly soon. I think 
it's got a really natural color. It's um it's pigmented enough that it's just um it shows up. You don't have to use a lot. But I just think this is amazing and this shade is just perfect for me. So that would be my absolutely cannot live without this blush. Okay, so for eyes then, um, just one thing for eyes that I would not be without and it is this eyeshadow. For me, this eyeshadow is kind of perfect and it is the one shade that if I again had to pick one shade that I can just use for everything, it would be this one. And it, it's NARS Lassa. And Lassa is a bit like NARS Ashes to Ashes, but it's a cooler color. So it suits me, although I absolutely love Ashes to Ashes, this is just that bit cooler. It's a little bit better on me than Ashes to Ashes. So this is a gorgeous grey taupe shade with a little bit of shimmer. It's just a perfect eyeshadow. I really, really love it. Um, I'll just swatch it now. It doesn't look like much. But the reason I love it is because it's just beautiful all over the lid. You could just go into the crease with this. You could just do the outside of your eye. You can go under your eye. It's just a beautiful eyeshadow. It is soft and blends really nicely. It's terrific quality. You're getting 2.2 grams of product, so it will last you a long time. So if I was sitting on top of a mountain with this eyeshadow, I, if I wanted to put on makeup, <laughs> This is the one I would want because I just absolutely think this is terrific. Now, um, what else have I got? Lipstick. I, I suppose I have lots of lipsticks, but the one, I suppose, shade of lipstick that I could not live without would be a nice nude pink. I. I like red lips, I've gotten into that lately. I like strong, I, you know, I'm beginning to experiment with strong colors and different colors. But give me a nude pink lipstick and I'm happy. And this is probably the best one that I have come across um, on my travels. And it is relatively new and it's from Clarence. And it's the Rouge Eclat number one, Nude Rose. And um, this is a great lipstick. I mentioned this in my favorites. It's just a beautiful, uh, neutral, nice natural pink shade. And so no matter what you've got on your eyes, the rest of your face, this is gonna look great. It's moisturizing, it's glossy, it's really beautiful. So um, again, throw away all your lipsticks and keep one. That's the one I'm keeping. Now that's six products, but there is one more product that I don't think I could actually live without and that is um, a brown eyeliner. Now I know I could have picked a dark brown eyeshadow but I'm not going to do everything with the dark brown eyeshadow. I'm going to need something to line my eyes. And if I could pick just one eyeliner to have it would be this one. And it is the RMK Ingenious uh, Gel Liner in Dark Brown. And this is just this is the product here. I love this because I've had it for ages and it is not showing any signs of drying out. It's intensely pigmented. It's beautiful for the waterline, stays on your waterline really well. It smudges really nicely so you can do a smudgy, smoky looking eye with it. You could use it as an eyeshadow base. You can use it for, you know, kind of more defined lining. It does everything, it's really long lasting, um, extremely good quality product. It's got little kind of shimmer particles in it, very, but very few. It's a dark, dark brown and um, much more flattering than a dark, than a black on me anyway. And I absolutely love it. So that is um, something that I would not be without. So I know those are seven products, um, but I thought really all of them just were calling out to me and I had to mention them all. So that's it. Um, anyone who likes this tag, please do it. I'd love to see your um, videos um, on this topic. So that's really all. Um, 
Tomorrow I think I might do a video on um, a skincare brand that I've recently been introduced to called Rivoli, uh, Rivoli Skincare. They're a Swiss based company. Um, their stuff is high end, uh, yeah quite, quite high end but extremely extremely good and lovely and just one of their products I have started using and it has absolutely just bowled me over. I adore it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I uh, need to swat up a little bit on the ingredients and stuff in the products before I do that video. So that's all. Take care of yourselves guys and please do this tag if you want to and um, I hope that was informative, enlightening, enjoyable, whatever you want it to be um, and take care and I will see you all again soon. So take care. Bye bye.